How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Enotria, the last song. So we're here at the first boss of the full game. Um, it is Curtis right behind these doors in the Church of Maja. Uh, so let's get into it. First boss isn't that bad. Um, I say that as he, he'll probably clap me. Um, <laughs> So mass lines, uh, the charge of all mass lines is automatically depleted whenever the massless one enters the domain of a boss enemy. There may be some mass lines that are powerful enough to uh, enough to be immune to this effect. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So in second phase, he can do uh, he can have viz on his weapon. None of that. There will be no tenderizing. Oh, okay. Okay, he's probably going to phase transition. So I'm going to back up. Yep, there he goes. So he is a little more a little more aggressive. Oh god. Yikes, as you can see. second phase. Jesus. Yep. Missing everything. That one hurts if you, if, uh, you miss the parry. Seems a little more aggressive um, than the demo, second phase. Again, okay.
heal, dude. Shit. Come on. There we go. Jeez. Yep, definitely jinxed myself saying, uh, he's not too bad. It took me about four tries. <laughs> Uh, the greatest among actors, his rising fame caused Zani to resent his talent. He now stands guard at the church, far away from the, tour, the cheers, yet closer to an ancient secret. And I think they're referring to the monastery that is behind here. Okay. Alright. So... Curtis is down. Uh, we got his mask, uh, which we, well, we can look at that now. Uh, and I think, oh wait, I did sort this. So Wrathful Charge summons an Adore Shield, which is what he was doing imbued with the power of Viz. Starts charging forward. Uh, I remember that being pretty good. Um, the Colore de Principe Pay, um, summon the Prince of Laughter's weapon and perform a violent downward slam, dealing area damage and aligned with the Viz element. Um, didn't really try that out too much in the demo. Uh, and then we got Curtis's Mask. Um, as you guys know that saw my build videos from the demo, this is uh, one of the masks that we used for the elemental build, and we kind of planning on doing that again here. Uh, does take a bit to kind of build that up uh, due to stat requirements and stuff, but uh, you know, that is the plan we're going to be using this. Um, so your status power is increased, however, you suffer more damage from all sources. In addition, perfectly pairing an attack charges up your mass lines while you're awakened. Um, and then we got his aspect, yeah. Um, so his aspect, uh, so the aspects, um, at least my experience from the demo like the bosses uh give you you know pluses to all your stats but then a couple minuses uh so you can see here that we're going to get a minus eight in elementalist and minus nine in battle mage um and so this uh is a collective experience of the prince of laughter increases your physical power by five percent uh so we could use this uh since it's you know physical power we could use this on the uh with the master of change uh, we would need to bump up those stats to kind of compensate for that for Elementalist and Battle Mage. Uh, so that is probably what we'll do. Um, and did we get... I thought I saw a weapon. Did we get his weapon? Oh, we did. Decorated uh, Ron, Roncone. It's a pole arm. Okay, hunting 25 viz. Okay. Nice. Alright. So behind here is this Blessed Knight Part 2. A testament to the knight's deeds are engraved in the Blessed Greatsword, which was given to him by the Church of Maja. Sure, there'll be a trophy related to getting all these uh, logs and whatnot. Yep, blessed rapier. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, that is good to use on Curtis because it has uh, Gratia. Um, however, I think um, the require the stat requirements. Yeah, it has Gratia. And it scales with elemental power, and then the requirements are. Uh, Oh, they actually changed it. Um, so it's Elementalist and Trickster. I think before it was Elementalist and Battle Mage, uh, which coincidentally enough is the stats that you get minuses for to when you use the Curtis Mask, but I guess they changed that a bit. Okay. All right, so to the... To the... Um, I think this is the Monastery. Oh! Okay, so that enemy that was immediately in the doorway has changed locations. Monastery of Mockery. So 
so the the Dutch, yeah, the Dutch Garden, as the cloister was often dubbed by those who, uh, by those of fervent faith, strong belief exists that everything was built with a sole purpose to gain the favor of Elsa's church. Why the Duke would go so far and what other reasons he might have, well, uh, a few will ever know. There is a knot right here, so we can probably level up a bit. Like I said in the last episode, probably going to bump um, Trickster up to 21 so we can try out that Saber, see how that is. There we go, and then let's, um, let's start bumping up this. Uh, cause I want to use a Dore Breath, and, uh, that has a stat requirement of 15 on Battle Mage. Okay. So, I'm curious now. Um. Oh, the Black Cat thing. Yeah, so we can use this now. Ooh, that's a crazy looking thing, huh? Ooh, that's fast too. Milano. Oh, does this have Milano? Oh, yo. Milano inflicts sickness, causing one to suffer damage over time to spread its effects to nearby entities. Yeah, so if you get affected by Milano, you'll spread that, but also... Ooh. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's it's a two-way street. If uh, enemies are afflicted by it, you'll get afflicted by it, too. Um, I I like that quite a bit. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. So... Okay, yeah, so you see... That's why. Elemental damage. It has uh, 92 across the board, except Milano. It has 130. And then the status damage uh, is the same across the board. So, so yeah, if you wanted it to do more elemental damage, you would... Yeah, you would level up um, tricks there, right? Yeah. Yep. So it increases the amount of elemental damage you deal. Yeah. So these these stats will take uh, take some getting used to, but hello. shooting at me. Oh, nice! Oh, yeah. These guys do that. You gotta be careful. That, that shit'll wreck you real quick. The easiest way to deal with these guys is kind of parry that shit. Instead of getting close, and they'll do that AOE, like... Ooh, still got me, but... Okay. You know what? I'm gonna heal up, just in case. Die, please, thank you. fragment. Okay. Yeah, so in the uh, in the demo... Oh, this is open now. Yeah, that's what I actually what I was just going to say. In the demo, this was not open, and uh, 
I actually <laughs> saw a video of a dude uh, kind of jumping on invisible walls and everything to get over here to get in there because there was that item back here. Um, so that's pretty funny. I actually was trying it to try and get back here and uh, ended up uh, corrupting my save for for the demo. So I had to uh, go through the demo again. But it's all good. Because I fell behind a uh, an invisible wall, which was kind of funny. So game didn't like that too much. So uh, yeah. So this is all new. Pretty awesome. Oop. Got a little goody here. Shred of the Canavaccio. Is this? No, that door doesn't open. Is there... Let me just... Let's see, was there anything else back here? Oh no, so that's, yeah, that's where I just killed the thing back there. Okay. Alright. So I'm excited. All new stuff here. So the, for sure that doesn't open. And what do we have down here? Epicide fragment. This opens, however. Oh, hello. Goes back out to the street here. Interesting. Okay, so that's right above where Curtis was. So this is where, where all my directions and everything kind of stop because this is all brand new. Uh, okay, that's the other spot where the blacksmith was. Okay, just kind of piecing it together here. So we're on the other side of that. All right. See what we got up here. That's not nice. Damn, I I like this thing a lot. Okay, you need to stop. Come on. <laughs> I like this thing a lot. Him of return. Got afflicted by Viz, that's okay. Get my little swerve on, getting drunk or crunk in here, whatever you want to call it. Oh, got some... the heck? Looks like we got a little puzzle here. Let's see what's up here. Oh, what the heck? Another one? Um... Oh, okay. Is this... It's like a time thing. Oh, is that the jump over there? Where does this go then? I don't think you 
could make that jump. Oh, there's another one down here. Oh no, I missed it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, that's tricky. I don't know if you could jump from the one near the wall. Alright, so let's... Oh, no, 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 don't go down the ladder. My goodness. Go, go, go. Don't get stuck. Go, go, go. I'm just gonna... There we go. Okay. That's a little tricky one. Meteoric Impact. What is that? Is that in the demo? I don't remember if it was or not. Summon a massive Adore, uh, Adore Hammer imbued with the power of Gratia and perform a powerful heavy attack. Like that. Nice. Alright, so all of that to get that little goodie. Um, was there anything else? There was an item over here, right? Some one on the other side, too. Okay. It's potentially where we get led around to here. Oh, that's cute. If it isn't my number one... Uh, Masters of Drama and Comedy. Oh. And so the end... So the ends the... T what? And so ends the tale, okay. Of <laughs> the magician. Bolchanella's reaction raises many doubts. Who is he exactly, and what happened to him? And how is it connected to the events found in the notes? Only time will tell. Mm. So they were mentioning Pulcinella at the beginning with other, what I assume, actors or bosses. Actors are going to be the bit like the big bosses of the game. So I, I wonder if, at some point, Pulcinella here is uh, going to be... Uh, gonna be a boss uh where'd he go he was just up there thought I could talk to him I guess not <laughs> Monia amplifier more heals thank you we like that okay so we can go that way where there was a little Is that a doggo? Yep. I don't like this. <laughs> Get rid of the dog. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna get rid of the dog. Spam your ador adore burst. <laughs> nice. Saw that at the last minute. What? How are you not dead? Some little rooftop action here. Oh, is that? Yeah, it's a chest. Oh, hello. 
think that's a big boy too. Oh, glad I saw this. Shred of a miserable memory, I think those are uh, consumable memoria. Okay, let's try a uh, descending attack. So you will join. Wow. Yikes. Weird how that that one attack keeps like going over my head. But I will take it. Miracle pesto. Okay. Hmm. Wonder if we can get to that uh that jerk that was uh, shooting at us. Yep. Is that you? I think it was. I've been waiting to clap your cheeks, buddy. That uh, didn't sound that great. Uh, just ignore that. Pick that down there. Okay. Um, is that all we can do here? So what is what is down here? Anything? I think we can just get to this roof here more easily. Uh, there is a goodie right there. I don't trust this. Now we're above the blacksmith. Oh! The hell was that? Oh. Okay. Got you. Damn. The verticality just uh, ramped up significantly here. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Dizzy. What does that steal with? Elementalist. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, it's it's definitely going to be interesting to now that they have this elemental like weakness uh, system in place, uh, which was not really present in the demo. Um, it's definitely going to be interesting figuring out what weapon to use. Now, the developers said that um, in the demo, I, I saw like a, like a, an interview or a podcast or something with them, and they said that um, you could double infuse weapons. Um, now, I don't know if that means, you know, in terms of uh, blacksmithing, if you could double infuse them, or if that means uh, like using the mask line, like if like this one that I'm using now, if it has uh, you know it's got sick on it, but then if I use one of my mask lines like through one of the skills and uh, infuse it with uh, like gratia or whatever, uh, so it would have both of those elements on it. So I don't know if they mean it like that. Uh, that kind of seems like a sketchy jump there for that item. Wanna say maybe it'd be easier to drop down to it? We 
somewhere. Uh, where was it now? No, I've, I've lost it. Um, well, once I do that, I'm going to need to uh, run back around anyway. Is it right below me? Yeah, so let me uh, let me find where that item's at, and uh, I'll tell you guys what it is, and we'll uh, reconvene uh, when we get back over to where we are now. All right, so I did find that item. It was just a Ephesite fragment. So got some dudes down here. It's interesting too. You do a jump attack you do you do um, Milano on, on the weapon chest back here hangover saber okay uh, well let's take this guy out over here first uh, these guys are chilling so I'll let them be Although, this dude was chilling as well. Uh, so, Hangover Saber. Okay, so Viz. Okay, so 202 on the status, 101. Okay, so it's a bit more powerful. Uh, so you have the... You can do the... Uh, the application... The amount of elemental damage and the effectiveness of attacks that inflict. Okay. I'll have to keep trying to remember that. So yeah, going back to what I was saying, it will be you know, it'll be interesting to see what we can produce, like make uh have a Vis and Fatuo weapon, or a Radiant and Fatuo, and then a Vis and Vis and Sick weapon, or something like that. Come on. Oh god, I, I did not want two of you guys. I'm gonna have to get used to that too, because I'm... Pressing R2 and the button combinations, like in Wukong. So I'm gonna have to get used to that. Yikes. There go. Gotcha, big boy. Okay. What do we have here? Nothing. Trying to get to a... Oh boy. Bunch of dudes there. Got a gate down there. Heal up here. Oh, you're getting an archer up there, too. No, none of that breath stuff, dude. Come on. <laughs> I really like this sword. I am not having any luck with that. Hello. Stagger locked the crap out of people with this weapon. <laughs> Love it. Oh, okay. 
broken my leg yet. Okay. Endless a festival. As the lands fade, my sins are laid here, and so I shall sing the song, hoping it brings change to the world. Forlorn. Goddess, did we read this? The monks devoted the goddess initially managed to oppose the stagnation. I was just reading the grammar there. Monks devoted to, oh, to the goddess initially managed to oppose the stagnation, but the population soon became violent towards the order. Kind of helps when you read all the words to get the context. Oh boy, got more rooftops here. Doesn't appear that I can get anything over there. Oh, hello. Oh, you're a big boy, too. Hit the wrong button. Lucky. He's about to smack me in the face. Oh my god, dude. Still not dead? Holy crap, that almost killed me. Dang. Almost had him. Oh my god, finally! Holy crap, dude! That guy was an absolute monster! <laughs> Took me like almost 10 tries to kill that guy. Jesus. Oh, we got a lift. Okay. Um. But I think, yeah, I think we're going to go back and rest up um, and call it a part there. Um, got some editing to do on this part. Um, but yeah, made it to uh, the top of the top of the hill there, like Polchinella was telling us to do. Potentially get another big boss fight coming up. So uh, we will do that in the next episode. So hopefully you all enjoyed this. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Hopefully you are all doing well. Arrivederci.